tarnish my image. Make me out to be the bad guy or make me out to be a pussy. Someone you think that's scared of the world. Scared of everything. Scared of being in public. Scared of being at my job. What's the scared word you, you, you speak of? I don't know what that is. All I see is a struggling young black man in America with a bunch of mental health issues on his head. If anything, you're the scared one. You hide behind a shell of cowardice, drowning in your own lust and desires and fulfillments. Do you get off to my shame? Throwing dirt at my name, do you do you love it? Am I the person to inflict the most anguish? I got more heart than any of these men. <laughs> but around here I'm quite famous. <laughs> Cause they think I'm scary. I might be, but not very. Not of any human being, that is. Men nowadays be in competition to seek toughness against another man to prove they're alpha male. I don't do that. It's not because of my stature or my phys- my physical. It's not because of how small I am or how scrawny I am or how less strong I am of a man. It's because I don't care. I necessarily don't see it as a form of trying to win. Being tougher than the next man. Because for all the tough men out there, there's always somebody tougher than you. That I know is true. I'm not intimidated by any man. (laughs) Jailbirds. Football players, anybody that has a scary look to them, I done seen worse. I done been through worse. More of like a distorted reality or whatever reality this is. This is no reality. This is a simulation. Society wants you to be better, stronger, faster. Not saying I'm not any of those things, but... I'm getting there. While all you men talk about football and basketball, I'm over here talking about poetry. Talking about how we can better understand this generation. How we can whip this generation into a new one. This generation is failing horribly. Generation is dead. We must keep it alive. But in order to do that, we got to survive. Because they don't want us turning around every mindset. Getting them to realize what's going on. In this wicked world, like the Bible says. I feel as though my words have bled. My words are bond. I can go on and on. But still they won't listen. And my family makes it no better. They just blame and betray and (laughs) think they ain't colder than the weather, but they are. The person I would have looked up to the most, the one I was supposed to be talking to about everything, the one that gave birth to me, I don't know that person no more. They say... (laughs) In the Bible, you're supposed to respect both of your parents. Well, I don't have a dad. Never had a dad. And it just didn't make me into less of a person. It just made me stronger. So seeing as how that person that gave birth to me was my mom and dad, just has been failing throughout life, period. Period. But I'm not petty. I'm just ready. 
them teachers in that school, the people here, they didn't prepare me for life. I did. I prepared me for life. And as long as I stay on the right path, on the straight and narrow, I'll be good. I know I will. For this is my will. To survive. If you like that, like, comment, share. Share this with your poetry friends and we can get it cracking. If you're new, sub. And if you want to be informed about new videos I put out every day, hit that bell. All right, peace, y'all.